In this Wireshark video, we're going to be showing how we can begin capturing packets after we've loaded Wireshark. So here we've installed Wireshark, we've installed the WinPCAP driver, and we've now started the application. And this is the screen that we're going to see. So one of the first things that we want to do is we want to come up here and click on Capture, and then click on Interfaces. This is going to show us a window that has all of the different interfaces that the WinPCAP driver has seen on our machine. Now typically what we'll do is we'll look for that interface that's showing packets and packets per second. That's the one that we're seeing traffic on. Now in this case we're seeing an adapter for dial-up and VPN capture and in future sessions we'll talk about how we can capture VPN traffic before it's encrypted coming to and from our machine. So this is very useful if we're using a VPN tunnel to connect back into our home office. Now in this case, the interface that we're interested in is this Broadcom NetExtreme Gigabit Ethernet driver. So what we can do is we can click on Options. And this is going to bring up a window that's going to show us some of the options that we have available to us when we're capturing. Now, in this particular video, we're not going to get into capture filters, but we'll talk about that in others. Some of the things that we see over here is Update List of Packets in Real Time. This is going to show us those packets that are going across the wire on the screen as we're capturing them. Now one thing to note is that when we use this it does decrease our ability to capture packets at high rates. So if you're just trying to capture a few packets and you want to see them go across the screen, great option. Otherwise you may want to leave that unchecked so that you can capture packets and then look at them after you've stopped. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click Start we're going to start capturing packets. Now what we'll see is that our packets are scrolling across the screen and we're seeing everything that our network interface card sees. So to stop this trace, so we can begin going through and taking a look at the packets, we're just going to come up here and click on this little network interface card with the circle and the X. That'll stop the trace and then we can start going through and taking a look at the packets. So now that the trace is stopped, we can expand our detail pane and what we see is we have three panes when we're looking at these trace files. The top one is the summary pane. This is going to typically show us our frame number, our source address, our destination address, our protocol, a time column, and then a summary of what this packet's doing. So for example, if we go up here to the top, we see that we've got some ARP packets. So in this case, 10.0.0.52 is trying to find the MAC address associated with the IP address 10.0.0.60. The center pane shows us the detailed decode for that packet that we've selected in the summary pane. So if we come in here, we can expand this and it shows us when this frame arrived. We can look at our Ethernet header and see the addressing information. And then down here, we can expand the address resolution protocol and see that right here that the device 10.0.0.52 with this MAC address is trying to find this target IP address. And you'll notice that as we highlight each field in the detail section, it will highlight the hex down here in the hex window that's associated with that. So if I highlight this IP address, 10.0.0.52 is equivalent to 0A0000. 34 in hex. So this way, if we're looking for a particular offset, we can come in here and we can see that we're looking at this pattern at offset. This first byte would be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's at offset 16 in hex. So this is how we go in after we've loaded the Wireshark protocol analyzer, begin capturing, and begin taking a look at some of those packets that are going across our network.